Okay, so come on in close and I want to show you this this tremolo picking thing. We're working on this motion. You'll notice the pick goes into this the instrument and then comes out. And I've got this mo rotating motion. We're taking advantage of the momentum. And that's just something you want to work on. Because it's a very typical... Very typical mandolin technique. Okay, and the other thing we worked on was we took one of your, uh, you took your G chord, right? Now come look up here. We took our G chord and we turned it into a bar chord. And I said, okay, instead of playing this with these two fingers, I'm gonna play this with my third and fourth finger and then I'm gonna slide up. If I slide up one fret, that's an A flat chord. And if I slide here, that's an A chord. So I'm barring my first finger. And we talked about, hey, you could use two different kinds of leverage. You could put the thumb outside or you could put the thumb inside. And then, first thing I said was, hey, you're playing the backbeat a lot of times with the different mandolin chords. A one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And to make it so you can hear the whole beat if you want to, and this is just, sorry, I, while we're doing the backbeat, they're very short. I'm releasing the chord as soon as I strike it. I'm putting pressure and then I'm releasing it to make it staccato or short. And then if I want to play the bass line with that and make a little oompa music, we're going to do like... So I hold it down while I'm playing the bass note, and then release right when I play the strum the chord. And if you look at the right hand, I still got that rotating motion going. So when you get into really fast tempos, you just start dropping the bass out. Just... <laughs>